Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, probably about six or seven months, right? Uh, well, I'm back, and uh, this and this is a new edition of the short reviews. Um, as you can see, I'm in a new location. I'm pretty snazzy, if I say so myself. And uh, I'm also going to be switching up the format yet again. I know I can't help it. Um, this new format will give you a more in-depth look at my honest opinion about these films. First, uh, about the films that I'm going to be reviewing. First off, I'm going to record a segment before I go see the film uh, to give my honest opinion about how I feel going into the film. And then I'm going to switch it up by doing a, by doing a segment after the film. So anyway, on to the short review. This week I'm going to be reviewing, what else? Godzilla. Godzilla. What a rocky road it's been for the for our green for our green reptilian friend. Um having a successful career in Japan and also also having a pretty successful career with the dubs over here in the United States. Um and <laughs> then pretty much being destroyed and dismantled by the abomination that was Roland Emmerich's 1998 Godzilla. Cannot tell you how much I hate that film. Cannot tell you. Mm. And while Toho did have some bad films themselves, I mean, honestly, Godzilla vs. Megalon, I, I still think is probably the worst Godzilla film. I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's, a, there's a few got bad Godzilla films from Toho, but overall, um, the, the, the American version, Jesus. We've got a bad record so far when it comes to making Godzilla films. I mean, honestly, we destroyed the original 1954 version, and then we just completely just... Oh, I can't even... Okay. Anyway, this film... Um, when I first heard they were remaking Godzilla, and they got Gareth Edwards, that's, that's the director. Gareth Edwards, I saw his film Monsters... Uh, the his film that he's that he was most known for before getting the job as the Godzilla director, and I gotta say I was impressed. I was very impressed. I I, I saw what he was able to do with um, with the limited budget that he had, and I was impressed big time. I mean honestly, he kept the tension palpable, he, and and it was it was an overall great film. But I don't want to dwell on that. But going from the budget that he had with Monsters to the budget that he has with Godzilla. Whew, I can only imagine what this guy's going to do. Plus, um, this is Gareth's first huge... It, it's, it's his introduction into Hollywood, pretty much. I mean, Monsters, don't get me wrong, great film, great film. But this is going to be his big interaction into Hollywood. This is going to make him, if, if this film's good, it's going to make him a common staple there. And people are going to be talking about him as the next blah, blah, blah. As a matter of fact, I've already seen, like, some reviews. People say he has a Spielberg-esque way about him, which I guess I'll see whenever I see the film. Um, anyway, uh, when I heard that they were going to remake this, I was, when they were going to try another Godzilla remake, I at first shook my head and in, in, in in just disgust because we've already messed it up once. We, Americans, have messed it up once already. 1998, but when Legendary Pictures, uh, when I heard it was through Legendary Pictures, I my faith wasn't restored anymore. And then last year I saw Pacific Rim, which was also made by Legendary Pictures. And needless to say, I was getting excited. And then came the teaser trailer. Oh, the teaser trailer. The teaser trailer blew my mind as... as uh, I'll give you a synopsis. It, it shows this this group, this military group, halo jumping into San Francisco, which is what David Strathern is the admiral, and it shows Aaron Taylor Johnson, Aaron Taylor Johnson, jumping into the jumping into downtown San Francisco, and the and I, I saw this in the theaters. You know, I didn't see it online. I saw it in theaters. And I did not know what was going on. I was like, what the heck is this? What movie is this? And then all of a sudden, you're seeing the point of view from, from Aaron Taylor Johnson's character. And he's looking around. And all of a sudden, he sees the, this figure walking. And I was just like, 
And I was like, what is that? And then all of a sudden I saw the, the, the spines on its back and I was like, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden it showed, the, it showed all the stuff from the previews. You know, Brian Cranston running, Juliette Benoche, Elizabeth Olsen, Ken Watanabe, whom I am very excited is in this film. I'm very glad they included him. Um, and then you see the shadows through the smoke. You see the buildings collapsing all around. And then he turns to the side and then... Yeah, that. The roar. Oh my gosh. Could not tell you how excited I was because this, because the preview alone got me hyped. The, the first preview got me hyped alone. You could have never showed me another advertisement for it and I would have gone and watched it right then. <laughs> but anyway, um, when, when, I, when I saw that preview, I was immediately just pumped up. I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. They, they did it. They finally did a good job. Oh, oh my gosh. But anyway, um, and, and the roar. They kept, they kept the roar. And I'm glad, oh God, am I glad they did that. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> here I am rambling, sorry about that, um, but I'm excited for this film. Whenever I see it, I am going to, I'm, I'm going to go watch it with my friends. They're all going with me. We've all got it planned out. Um, but I'm excited for this film. I, I've seen the critical reception so far. It's like, like an 85, 86 on Rotten Tomatoes right now. And Rotten Tomatoes, that's usually who I go to for for information. Sorry, there's flies in here. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for, I guess, the, I guess for the before. I guess we're just going to have to wait for the after. And um, I'll see you then. Thanks. Well, here we are. Uh, it's officially after uh, I've watched Godzilla. And, uh, well, I've got to say, I'm impressed. I am very impressed. This is a really good film. I mean, honestly, the, the scope that it maintains throughout and the continuity. That's another thing I noticed. The continuity of the creatures uh, in terms of their size ratio compared to, compared to the cities that they're in, it's very, it's very accurate. Um, anyway, uh, Godzilla's really good. The production value is really good. I gotta say, for the performances from this film, I gotta say, um, Brian Cranston as Joe Brody, he's probably the best part of this film. I mean, his his passion to find out what happened, uh, and and just his drive to find out what what caused it all, is is truly something. And then of course, Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's good at hiding his English accent. I'll say that. And also, he gives a really really good performance as Ford, and then, uh, and Elizabeth Olsen, <laughs> the, uh, other Olsen sister, yes, those Olsen sisters, um, she does really good as well, and Ken Watanabe does really good, and, uh, just really good performances in this film, and I think that's th something that kept this film anchored down really good as well, and also, um, <laughs> if they make a sequel, they, you see, they leave it open for a sequel. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to give away anything, but they do leave it open for a sequel. But yet, if they want to bookend it at this one, they can do that as well, and I'll be, and I'll be satisfied. <clears throat> Complaints? It's kind of upset I didn't hear the Godzilla marching theme. You know, uh, the dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I'm kind of upset I didn't hear that, but eh, it's it's a minor complaint. <clears throat> and you know, there's always there's gonna be people saying, you know, oh, I was unhappy when Godzilla showed up because he took so long to show up, and I'm like, <laughs> the thing about it is, tension and anticipation make a great make a film great, especially if the payoff is really good. That's just like, take Jaws, for instance. You never see the shark until the final act of the film. Think about that. You don't see the shark until the final act of the film. And then you see Godzilla in this, 
And the payoff is enormously gratifying. I mean, when Godzilla first appears, you, you, you're, you, the tension's starting to mount, and you're starting to anticipate, and you're like, oh, where is he, where is he, where is he? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh. And you, and and you find yourself hard. It's hard, you find yourself breathing very very lightly and very like like you've got like you've got something right here in your throat and it's hard for you to breathe. And then all of a sudden you see him, and then you hear that roar, and then everything, and then it's it's just said right after that. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, the um, the fact is this film is really good. I I, I recommend this film big time. Uh, I can't. I really can't find any huge problems with it. You know, there's a few minor problems. There's always going to be small problems in films, but you know, nothing to kill the experience of the film. Um, anyway, like I said, I give this film my recommendation, and I'll also say this: this film, this film, if if they want to continue this franchise, I'd be all for it. But if they want to bookend it here, I'd also be for that as well because. I hope I hope Gareth Evans er, Gareth Edwards comes back to direct to direct the second film because he's doing great work so far. And uh, as for Legendary Pictures, can I please see Pacific Rim and Godzilla crossover? Please, maybe. No. Okay. Well, anyway, this is this has been a short review, uh, and uh, I gotta say. Um, it's good to be back, and next week I'm going to do X-Men Days of Future Past. I might have other people with me, I might not, I don't know. I might do a question roundtable, you know, to see what people thought of the film and everything whenever we see it next week. Um, but anyway, this has been a short review. My name's Nate, and it's good to be back. How y'all feel out there?